Tristan here from uh, Dark Wolf Productions doing a review of uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive for the Xbox 360. And so, uh, first thing I noticed that there's no freaking campaign, which is good. It's not like I want one. So we go to play, and there's a couple of things, but there's only like three game modes where we have Quick Match, which I'm assuming is multiplayer, Custom Match, which looks like it's just getting your preferences for multiplayer. Then we have offlines with bots and this weapons course, which looks like training. So we'll just do the uh, offline with bots and some classic maps. See if we can find anything from Source. We have Dust. Let's do that. I'm going to do Easy Bots because I have no idea how to play it on console. Other than that, I've played this game countless times on Source, and I still have my old copy that came out for the original Xbox. And I play them like nonstop, and the game is just a classic, you know? I was still little when it came out, so I kind of grew up a little bit with it. I know some other people have more than me. I remember going to LAN parties to play it, but still not even really knowing that I was. And now I have a bomb, so how the hell do I buy stuff? T start. My accomplishments, choose team, no, how do you do this game? So right now I'm just mashing buttons, hoping one thing works, so we'll just do my accomplishments, stats, wars, no, 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 no. Now I heard somewhere that you have to set your controls. That's what I heard. So how does this work? Uh, restore defaults. There we go. So, uh, okay, we'll do pistols. Okay. So, first thing you'll know is that it's basically just kind of a reskinned source, I imagine. Some of the same effects, I guess. I see like a few pixels here and there. It has the source style thing where it tells you where you're at in the top left. Even the map doesn't even look that much different. Got Ted counter, dead counter terrorists here and there. Oh, who the hell's that? Uh, this dude looked like a rebel from Star Wars. Some weird ass hat. What the hell is that? It looks like that Mushroom Kingdom from Mario. X is the buy menu. Some kind of SMGs or whatever. I'll still just rock pistols because I'm awesome like that. So on the top it tells you how many people are there and I guess it shows your gamer tag. You know, it looks like they have some variety with the terrorists, which is kind of cool I guess, but it's a shock to me because I'm so accustomed to like the single skin stuff. Combat seems more fluid, you know, not so much as just stand there and shoot, whereas then it's more lively where maneuver. Then again, I was never truly good at the game on computer. Maybe that'll change with this. The control scheme seems weird, and it's kind of lame that you have to set them up in the beginning, but I guess it's their key mapping style that they're doing. Is he an enemy? No, so I just killed everybody. Achievements and crap like that. And I have all this money. There's that. I don't... The game just pretty much seems like a reskinning, frankly. Like, I don't even know where I got that gun. So let's go to rifles. All these guns are pretty much in the original one, so we'll just get the sniper and... Grenades and I don't see any uh, armor, body armor. Oh, here it is. Oh, but I'm poor and I can't buy anything, I guess. Stop. One thing that's kind of lame is the buy menu where, you know, it doesn't seem as easy to access. Well, it's still a button click away. I still can't get over the fact that I have to key map on my own, you know? I kind of thought that was the advantage of a console over a PC, whether it be an advantage or not. And the thing that seems kind of annoying is that this game instantly assumes that I'm retarded and I have no hand-to-eye coordination. I understand I put the AI bots on easy, but good god, they just stand there and look at you, you know? It's like you played a game of uh, who can blink first before you guys start shooting each other. And all these AIs think that they're acrobats from the Olympics where they decide to jump over every possible thing, you know? I just don't get that. Alright, so we're done getting raped by easy bots, and now time to go get raped by some Koreans playing multiplayer. We'll just do quick match, because we're playing the trial, and I don't have time to waste setting up preferences. So we'll see how long it takes for you to search. Then again, I imagine it was a popular game, so it's a classic casual Italy. And uh, one thing that is nice is how it tells you how the settings look. Friendly fire off, team collision off, but I have no idea what the hell that even means best out of 10 rounds so the game seemed longer than the older ones alright so we start in I guess we're waiting you have to wait for the next round so instantly you can check the scoreboard and see how much money people on your team have and how many kills and how many deaths and their score and they have uh, some weird Ku Klux Klan looking people as the terrorists I guess I don't know if they're French or not but they're hella weird looking that's a new addition though 
And then we have this GIGN. I think they're German. Who, who knows? They all look like SWAT, to be honest, though. No, it seems like people are still stupid and just run past each other and take a good, like, five minutes to realize. Oh, there's chickens in here, too, apparently. I don't know if anybody saw that. We still have the hostages from the old one and still the whole gravity defines crap from like 10 foot drops. And it's people just crouching waiting on stairs. And I wonder if that uh, shotgun sniping feature is still in here that I heard where you can just snipe people across the map with retarded shotguns, you know? It even tells you the health of the players at the top or below their gamer picture, some little yellow line, you can barely see it though to be honest. So right now it says that uh, the skulls indicate a dead player and I guess those uh, people with those hands behind their back those silhouettes in the, t the top left below the mini map are hostages and then that thing that's kind of lame it doesn't have a bullet hole like if you get shot there's no little blood on your clothes no blood just magically comes out of you out of nowhere you know but we'll see uh, although the hostages don't always look the same anymore they look like they have variety which is nice because I got tired of rescuing the same five ladies sometimes on the older counter strikes and now it's just became a uh, sudden death with counter terrorists probably going to lose. There you go. Overall, I'd pay for this game at half price because it's simply just a reskinning of the older Counter-Strike Source things. And uh, there's nothing really special or unique about it except maybe the chickens. But uh, nothing is just stands out. Like even if you add character skins or whatever, it, the doesn't change the fact that people rape you if you don't know how to play. It's not a game that's forgiving. Like, if you don't know how to play, then there's no real way to learn, even with the bots. The whole freaking key mapping thing with your store is hella lame. And this is just not something that I could see myself playing, maybe not even for fun. Or At most, I'd probably play this with a friend just to be nice so he doesn't realize that all the games he plays sucks, you know? Overall, I don't give this game a thumbs up, and uh, that's my review for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.